Hi, my name is Chantal and welcome back to the Journals of a Codependent. So apparently it seems as if I have to make a disclaimer at the beginning of every video, but um, well, this is my opinion only. So if I get some comments stating that I should do some research or whatnot, F off, okay? I'm just gonna delete you anyways. So um, again, this is based on my opinion of society and you know, experience and what I see things developing and all of that. Um, again, erratic, weird and unsuitable comments that are not meant for healing and coping and just support on this channel and supporting each other are going to be deleted because I want to keep my channel free of harassment and weird shit. So with that being said, why I think we all are in some ways more or less addicted to something um, and why our society has become this way. So um, I basically I think I believe that we've there's always been something for humanity that we can escape to um, ever since we've become we've become civilized. So I don't really I think that there must have been something when we were in the Stone Age, you know, when we were um, still in the caves, where that that kind of helped us escape from reality. Whether it was taking some form of drugs that they didn't, you know, weren't aware of, something to uplift your spirits, and that I think is a very natural thing. Um, I think that humans, in general, want to escape and like to be in a state of euphoria and all that and I don't really see this as a negative thing um, it only becomes negative once you seek it in order to get by and in this day and age it's so easy to get addicted whether it is TV whether it is gaming whether it is food where most of us are probably addicted to sugar um, drugs of course Alcohol is like the easiest thing to have access to nowadays. Um, buying things, addicted to love, there's, you know, whatever it is, you name it, there, it's there, it exists. But the question is really, why? Why do we feel the need to feed our addiction? What is it that we're trying to compensate? So to me, an addiction is always a form of compensation of something that you don't have in your life. It's something that makes you feel at home, maybe. It's something that makes you feel high and feel good because nothing in your life does. Or maybe everything in your life does and you've just been unlucky. Um, it's something to help us escape from the reality. And most of the time it has something to do with deep within us, like something's missing or something that we don't feel we deserve so that that's the kind of life that we just deserve i don't think anyone grows up thinking or or a few people in this world grow up thinking that let's say taking hard drugs like heroin or methamphetamine is a good thing um, even drug addicts who, who are currently still addicted tell other people that it's not a good thing so i don't believe in this evil and good kind of thing going on but I think that if we all just repaired ourselves from within, we wouldn't have as many addicted people in this world. We wouldn't have as many people, you know, falling for consumerism, falling for buying stupid shit that you don't need. Just because you think it's cool, it satisfies your craving at the moment. I mean, I do that all the time. It's not like I'm a saint or something. I just say my opinion on it. Um, and. I feel we're all so broken inside. There are just a few ignorant people, and I call them ignorant for a reason, that really like have it all together. They have their lives together, they have everything, you know, they do everything by the book by the book. And that's very commendable. At the same time, there's no emotional depth. And what is it really that we need to do? What is it really that we need to do in order to prevent um, 
getting addicted in order to heal, in order to not seek out external things and try to look within us. And it really is a process and it really takes time um, to fix what's within you before you seek external validation and external gratification via an addiction or something less than that. It doesn't even need to be that. It can just be, um, I don't know, let's say, using the TV to escape and, and, I don't know, binging on Netflix for like weeks and weeks on end. And please don't forget to differentiate between a hobby and an addiction. So addicted behavior is something that you do at an expense or at the cost of something else. Um, at the cost of your health, at the cost of a relationship, money, whatever it is. So if it's within healthy boundaries, if you do it one or two hours a day, I'm not saying one or two hours a day of heroin is a good thing because they get that gets you addicted more. I'm talking about the differentiation between hobbies and an addiction um, or a hobby that you love, a passion versus addictive behavior. And this is also a very interesting concept of where things kind of get blurry. When is it an addiction? When it's something seemingly positive? And when is it just passion? Um, and I feel we just judge too quickly. We judge harsh on people who are addicted. Yes, my advice was think about yourself first when you're with an addicted person because there's nothing you can do. The person has to do it him or herself and that's the that's the central problem of it um, but I don't condone or I don't think it's a good idea to put them all you know put them all in one basket or, or say that they're all evil people because they're not they're just victims of their own behavior they're victims of their own fate sometimes you know being around the wrong people and so going back to the essence of it is something that you seek externally that you should have seeked internally and you should have repaired internally. From what I've learned with my ex-boyfriend was that I think he just wanted to be loved. At the end of the day, he just wanted a family and wanted to be loved just as much as his siblings were loved. And I think it's the love of his mother that he tried to fight for externally, I guess. Um, maybe he wasn't aware of it either. This is just my, you know, kind of pseudo-psychological um, explanation for it. Um, although I am technically a psychologist, I, you know, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to overanalyze it. I don't want to state something that might not be the truth, however. So at the core of many things is love and acceptance and feeling accepted, feeling welcomed, feeling home. And if we work on this core, and that's really hard to do, um, I think we can all better ourselves. When we work on the core of accepting ourselves by whatever it is that we love to do, do it more. Whatever it is that you say positively to yourself, say it more. I think that's when we become more or less resistant against drugs and things like that. This has never really been the case for me. I've never accepted myself, even though I was very, <clears throat> excuse me, very confident of myself. So it's a weird thing. I was never really prone to like extreme addictive behavior. I, I'm very prone to addictive behavior when it comes to food, when it comes to consumption. Um, but I'm not, con I'm not, um, I, I can stop myself before I lose control, but it's not, it doesn't make me any better. So I realized that investing time in myself and developing myself, even though it's hard and it takes a lot of time, prevents me from binging, prevents me from getting addicted to something else. Because one addiction follows the next, right? If, you're, if you were addicted to drugs, you try to find a substitute for it. Um, there's always something you need to find, but also maybe you need to find peace as well. So essentially, love, peace, feeling at home, not feeling broken and loving yourself and accepting yourself, in my opinion, are at the core of why we're all addicted. Um, 
I'm not saying we're all addicted, but you know what I mean. I don't, I don't want to censor myself when I talk to you guys, so I just hope you get the gist of it, and I'll try and explain it as clearly as I can. And sometimes I may jump from one place to the next, forgive me for doing that. I'm very, like, my thoughts go from, like, one place, um, and I try to take, you know, stories from, anecdotes from one part of my life to kind of underline the gist. But yeah, that's what I think uh, about why we're all addicted and the real solution, man. I think that's, a, that's really hard. Stop consuming? Is that even possible? How are you gonna spend your free time out in the air? Like, outdoors, just listening to nature? I don't think that's very realistic for many of us. I mean, now with the lockdown, maybe. <laughs> but meditation, um, exercising, that has helped me a lot. Like, finding the balance within me and finding myself. Um, developing a craft or a skill Investing in your future in terms of creating something. I'm not saying YouTube or anything, I mean like, you could even be creating a life. Find a different meaning in your life other than drugs to avoid, um, or other than ad addicted behavior in general to avoid that. Um, yeah, well, I'm starting to ramble. So uh, that's it for today. That's why I think uh, we're all or that's why I think we're addicted. And um, see you soon.